Greetings guys, this is Tokarev and welcome back to another video on the channel and finally we are looking at one of my replays again. It's been a long time since we've done this on the channel and today I've got a replay for you about the VK4502A, one of the tier 8 German heavy tanks. But this is one of the tier 8 heavy tanks that there's a lot of debate about because people aren't really sure if this is a medium tank or if this is a heavy tank. This is very questionable because its mobility uh, is quite comparable to that of some of the medium tanks in this game. For a medium tank the mobility is not exceptional, it's not bad, it's not the worst. But also the gun is quite debatable as it gets a pretty uh, yeah, medium gun so to say. It, it lacks penetration, um, the alpha damage is around 300 I thought, let me quickly take a look. And not make my make any mistakes. 320 alpha damage with 200 millimeters of penetration on its standard rounds, which is pretty low. And that means that you're going to have to play a medium playstyle. At least that's what I thought when I first bought this tank. So I played around 40 games, and in those 40 games, I really did suck in this vehicle. And in those 40 games, I all tried to play this tank as a medium tank, but I just couldn't make it work. But then, I think it was around a month ago, now this replay is pretty old. But around a month ago, I ended up in a battle on Paris. And that's this exact battle. And I thought to myself, okay, playing as a medium isn't really working out for me so far. So, let's just try and play this tank as a heavy tank. So that's exactly what I did in this game. I went towards the heavy flank on the Paris map as we can see and we are fighting really heavy heavy tanks as we can see the VK100P is of course one of them and IS-3s we're also fighting an IS who comes around the corner like that yeah no problem as you can see I am firing some APCR rounds at the moment and that's because the AP rounds on this tank are really poor even with the APCR rounds on this VK we only have 244 millimeters of penetration, which is pretty bad still. Um, but I'm going to need this penetration to be able to go through the VK frontally. Otherwise, I just can't make it work with this gun. So, as you can see, as I said, I am playing as a heavy tank right now. And I'm just not just playing like any heavy tank. I'm playing like the previous heavy tank in the tech tree. Uh, which the VK is of course from and that is the Tiger P and the Tiger P does exactly this It comes around the corner with its frontal armor in an extreme angle And if you want to see what I mean by that then go and check out an old video I made on the Tiger P the video will be in the cards menu and in that video I will explain how the Tiger P can be played to its best efforts so to say and that's what I thought what could quite work with the tier 8, the VK4502A as well. Because as you can see, the enemy is bouncing on the extreme well angled frontal armor of this tank. And the thing is, the frontal armor of this VK isn't even that good. And that's why I could make this work. And that's why they're shooting my frontal armor, because they know it's not very good. But I present my frontal plates in such an extreme angle, that there's just no way they're going through my upper plate here. And now, yeah, we're going to just juke us out this V game. As we can see, luckily, that was my last APCR shot because I won't be able to penetrate him with my standard rounds. Well, maybe I could, as um, its angle of its lower plate got decreased because I was shooting up at it. But oh well, we'll never know for sure as I shot an APCR round right through him and took him out. So, pretty much, we took down this entire heavy flank together with this WZ111 on our team, who you can see is a very good player. And I'm going to congratulate them as well in the chat. Um, that we played really well together. I didn't even lose that much health. Which normally did happen uh, uh, when I played this tank. Uh, and I was really surprised after this. Because this is this was immediately the, the game where I did the most damage already. 2.7k. I've never been able to do that much damage in uh, any battle previous to this. In this tank. And we... We just get a little bit extra because that type 58 gives us a free kill. Well, I'm not going to play complain, of course. So, as we can see, we wipe down the entire city on Paris here. I just love this Paris map. It's just such a beautiful map. I just really adore playing on this map whenever I come on it. But as we can see, this battle is far from one. We might have still two tier 8 heavy tanks alive, me including... And some tier 6 and one tier 7 vehicle. But as you can see the enemy team have got a lot more tanks alive than we do. So th this game is far from one. 
So what I try to do now is put some pressure up on the tank destroyers that like to camp in the base here on the Paris map. They always sit in this bushes here around the banana building. That's what I call this because let's be honest, this looks a bit like a banana. But anyways, I try to put pressure up on the tank destroyers there. I want to close the distance, but I can't really close the distance without giving my position away. Because as we can see, the cap circle is placed all the way towards these buildings. So... There's no way I'm not going to be able to give my position away. But I'm going to use this to my advantage. Because the Nashorn now knows that I am in this position. Okay, I don't even know what just happened. The smoke alarm just went off inside my home. But it was a false alarm, luckily. But that was the best timing ever, I suppose. But anyway, let's not focus up on my smoke alarm. We took down the Nashorn by surprise, as I said. I made use of uh, giving away my position... And then coming from an angle which I thought the Nashorn was not going to expect me from. And that's, exact, that's exactly what happened. He was looking the other way. And I managed to take him down with an HE shell. A pretty, uh, yeah, unneeded HE shell. As I was going to be able to take him down with a normal uh, round. Let's say five times out of ten at least. I tried to fire an HE round at the T-34-85M. But unfortunately it doesn't hit. But what the hell? And the surprise scorpion appears. I put my HE run into him, luckily it penetrates, because if it wouldn't have penetrated, I would have needed a lot more shots to take down this guy. So, okay, I don't want this guy to run away from me now. I'm going to track him in position. I'm going to take this shot anyway, I don't have a choice, but I had the health to do so. I need to take this guy down. This game is really close and I can't afford a scorpion running around on the battlefield still. So we managed to take him down, but unfortunately, as we can see... I don't have that much health left at all. So I can't take any more shots from any tanks on this team. Luckily we do know where two out of the three tanks left alive on the enemy team are. Only tank we need to find is the enemy artillery. But um, it's very likely that he's going to be in the field here. So uh, the artillery is not a threat to me at the moment. So I do need to be very very careful. Because I don't know where the T-3485M went. I think he is in that alleyway and I see this tree fall. So that gives me quite indication that he's there. But I am too late on my reactions to take down the T-34-85. And that's going to cost me greatly. Because I was accepting, uh, blip, accepting a platoon invite from the WZ-111 on my team. And that cost me the kill on the T-34-85M. And you're going to see what that costs me later on. So the IKV shows up behind me. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, I need to run away from this guy for now. But then I decide, okay, I'm spotted now. I think at least that I'm spotted. I can't let this IKV uh, just spot me all the time. For all that I know, the T-3485M might be coming after me now. Or might show up behind me. The WZ is taking down the W Panther on the enemy team. He gets taken down and now I get the chance to kill him. I think I can make it. I can make it. Can I? I'd reload him, but I cannot... I cannot out reload his gun, which is just terrible for us. The WZ actually bounced off the GW Panther on the enemy team. And I thought I could out reload the tier 6 Swedish tank destroyer, but I couldn't. And that cost me this game. Although I didn't manage to win this game, the result is impressive nonetheless. Even though I did make some really catastrophic mistakes at the end of this battle, I still learned a lot about this VK4502A. And the only thing I'm looking for right now with this tank is improvement, as I now know that this tank can actually be played as a heavy tank as well. What I'm quite interested in is, what is your opinion about the VK4502A? Is it a heavy tank or is it a medium tank? Or maybe it's just a little bit of both. Let me know your opinions in the comments down below. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. But that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making this one for you. Please leave a like as I did put a lot of time into making this video as usual. And think about subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see each and every one of you in the next video. Bye.